What is up, alien army? I am I Oculus, am alien, alien next, next door, door. Purveyor, purveyor of esoteric, esoteric lore. lore. And today I am coming back at you with another pick a card reading. And this is going to be a combo pick a pile, pick a gemstone. And today's topic is going to be timeless reading, as all of my readings are. But we are talking about what is going to happen within three months, okay? So the next three months from whenever you view this reading, this is what we're talking about, all right? So we have three uh, stacks here and three gemstones. So this is pile one with our lovely Labradorite. Pile two with our lovely Rhodoprosite, and pile three with our lovely Snowflake Obsidian. Okay, so if you need a few moments to reflect and see which pile is calling to you, then feel free to go ahead and do so. And I will see you in your reading. As always, timestamps will be listed below. What is up, group number one? Those of you that chose our lovely labradorite egg here is your reading all right so we are just going to shuffle or attempt to shuffle some cards and see what's going on with you in the next three months what's going to happen any applicable predictions and then i'm going to pull some oracle cards whoop i guess that one wanted to fly out who do we have here death okay Okay, Mr. Death, here we go. Starting off with a bang. All right, so I'll just pick a few randomly. Six of Cups. And Four of Cups. So someone, all right, someone from your past, group number one, uh, someone you had, I mean, it could be a friendship too, but I'm see, seeing more of like a romantical type of relationship. Someone from your past is going to be returning to you because they have changed and they realize that they had not been appreciating you. They were taking you for granted, uh, okay? And they are going to return and they are going to, I don't know, I don't know what they're going to do, but I mean... We're going to find out, aren't we? So, someone from your past is returning. They've really changed. So, however they were in the past, they are definitely not like that anymore. They are totally different, and they are going to show it to you. So, I'm definitely sensing that they weren't appreciating you. That's, like, the main theme. And then, yeah, Six of Swords, Five of Pentacles. All right. And let's get... Ooh. What is this? Four of Pentacles. Interesting. So we have two fours, one right on top of another. And we have two sixes. Interesting. Very, very. Okay. Yeah, so this person from your past, um, I'm definitely sensing that there was some... They, I, I'm, I'm thinking that they ghosted you. They left suddenly. Okay. Uh, and you felt the lack of them, so that could give you more clarity on who this person is, whether it's like a romantical type or like a friendship or a relative or something, but they left really quickly, uh, leaving you kind of in a loss. You were feeling the lack of them, and you were kind of like waiting for them to return. You were kind of hoping it. You are kind of anticipating it. You might have been daydreaming about it, uh, fantasizing about it holding on to the memory of them, okay, from a place of lack, okay, we have a decrease in numbers, six, five, four, boom, so this is someone who you really felt like that you were missing from, but I feel like at this point, you might be almost starting to get over them, or you might be um, at a point in your life where you're just, you're kind of holding on to the memory of them, but you're, you might have given up or something along those lines, but this is definitely someone who uh either cut ties with you or in some cases you might have cut ties with them uh but either way that cutting of the ties uh left you in a feeling of like lack and longing for them but this person is returning because they weren't appreciating you and they have changed okay um someone in this connection might have been very 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 stubborn i'm seeing all right but they are going to return so 
that's the strongest message I'm getting here, right? Um, so let me see. What else is, I, I mean, whew, guys, this is like strong. Oh, yeah, Kega Cups. Look at this. Look at this. Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Seven of Wands. Okay, so when this person returns, they are going to uh, kind of come swooping in. They're going to try to be like um, everything you ever asked for. They might tell you like, I'm here to be the person of your dreams, whatever, right? I'm here to be the man of your dreams. I'm here to be the woman of your dreams, whichever applies to you. I know we have a king here, but listen, it could be someone of any gender. It could be um, a female energy too, okay? So it might not just be a male, it might be a female, okay? But this person that's going to offer you everything of your dreams is definitely in a romantical sense, that, that much I'm sensing. Uh, they're going to try to, um, you're going to be defensive at first when they first come back because you're going to be suspicious. You're not going to trust them. You might have thought too much time has passed or you might have been like, what is, are they going to play games again? Are they, because I feel like they were just not in a good place, um, but it had nothing really to do with you. It's just some things that they had to sort out uh, for themselves, okay? I'm just sensing that there was like a separation or was someone cut someone off or whatever. They're, they're going to come swooping back in and they're going to offer you like this big time love and commitment and they're, they're going to, I'm telling you, they're going to try to come in and be like, you know, baby, take me back. I'll be everything you ever wanted or something like that. Okay. So, um, yeah, that, that's what I'm seeing here. You're going to be a bit defensive when they come back within these three months. All right. Um, but what are their intentions when they come back? Cause I'm really picking this up strongly. So what are their intentions? Well, we kind of know that, but are they sincere? I do see that they change, but let's just see what the cards have to say. Queen of Wands, okay, boom. So now we have a king and a queen. So um, we have a masculine and a feminine energy going on. This person is very passionate. Um, they might be very sensitive as well, but because we have the blended masculine and feminine energies now, they have returned to you in more in a more balanced state. That was a transformation that they were going through here. Okay, so they're kind of like, they're at a more harmonious place than they were before. Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, boy. Okay. So, yeah. There Again, I feel like it's sort of like this, like, like you're in a casino and you're, like, playing roulette. And then, boom, it lands on your number. It reminds you of, like, Wheel of Fortune vibes. I don't know. One or both of you might be into gambling. Or you might feel like it's a gamble to let this person back in your life. But I feel like if you just give them a chance that it's going to be, like, a lucky draw. Like, you're going to be like, oh, snap. Like... I can't believe like this happened or something. It's going to be a totally random event, but this person definitely has um, equalized themselves. They, they've definitely uh, balanced themselves out. Okay. And they're going to, they're gonna, again, they're going to try to offer you passion, stability, security, everything that you ever wanted. And you're going to feel a little bit defensive because of everything that went down in the past. But the basic message that I'm getting here is that they really have changed. They have transformed themselves. They they have metamorphosized. They're not the same person that they were when you knew them way back when, okay? And I don't know if I'm really sensing a time frame of when you knew this person. For some of you, it could have been years. For some of you, it could have been months, okay? But this is someone that there was like a, like, whoosh, like a scissor snip or, or like a, just like a slow fade or a quick fade or a cutoff or a ghosting or like, it's just you guys separated you part of ways, okay? And you kind of always, they were always lingering in, in the back of your mind, but they weren't appreciating you and they're sorry for that now, okay? So that is definitely what I see coming for you in the next three months. Uh, let's just pull some oracles because why not? All right, surrender. I don't read oracles reverse. Surrender, number 91. Uh, 91 might be significant. Maybe some of you were born in the year 91 or this person that's coming back was born in the year 91 or their birthday might be 9-1, like September 1st. Mercury, mind. Okay, interesting. And we have like, ooh, okay, okay. I just want to get another astrology card. I don't know why. 
Pluto transformation. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Now we have two cards. We have death and we have Pluto transformation. That's why I knew I wanted to pull another one. Thank you, universe. Yeah, this person really has changed. And I feel like their mind, something with their mind, their mind is made up. Um, they've surrendered maybe to their, their feelings about this situation. Okay. They've transformed. Like I feel like their mind was standing in their own way, or even it could have been you, um, that your mind, um, surrender to like like surrender to your mind and let your emotions let your intuition guide you in this situation okay like that's what i'm picking up i know it's kind of like a, a weird thing because it, it these cards kind of apply to both of you but um well this one applies to them but these two i feel can apply to either you or this person like they've surrendered to their feelings to you they were trying to logically think of ways that they were not interested in you or whatever the case or why they didn't want to talk to you depending if it's like a friendship situation not necessarily romantic, but if it was a romantic situation, then they were, they've really surrendered their minds and they've kind of let their heart guide them, which is what caused them to transform massively. And if it's you, I feel like when this person does make their return into your experience because they have transformed, that what's going to happen is that you just need to surrender your minds, like, and just let your heart guide you, let your intuition guide you if you should let that, let, let them back into your life. Ooh. Okay. All right. These three guys wanted to come out. So I guess we're just going to look at the three of them, aren't we? Universe cosmic mating, not of approval. We wink from the ethers. Um, yeah, <laughs> that kind of goes without saying stung, hurt feelings, bitterness, vortex of jealousy. So this definitely could have been in sort of like, it's a quote unquote, it's complicated situation. If this was a romantical type of situation, like this might've been an area of conflict for either you or this person, or it's still going on within one of you. And we have showered pleasant surprises, love tokens, sharing affection. So yeah, when they come back, like I said, they're going to try to offer you something. Okay. They're going to try to offer you something physical. And I just saw 11, 11 on the clock. Holla! Woo! You guys. Mm. Mm. Oh, hoo -hoo. yeah, I, I see that if this is definitely a union, this is a union that is blessed. They're going to shower you with something, uh, you know, like those feelings, the hurt feelings, the bitterness, the vortex of jealousy, um, where, whenever that was going on, wherever that was going on, if it was you or this person that's, that's ended, that's about, about to be transformed. It already is transforming. Okay. You just have to wait for it to make its way into your physical realm experience. I mean, we have cosmic mating, not of approval, wink from the ethers. Um, so if you were waiting for a sign, this is it. Boom, I just channeled that, all right? Uh, let me get one more oracle, just from these cute little divine doors, guidance cards. Okay, this fellow looks good. What are we doing? Anthony's call, in, in thanks of my spirit, safe and sound, all things that are lost, so can be found. Holy shit. Are you serious right now? This is a message to you when you are feeling the lack of that person. All things lost surely can be found. Oh yeah. Okay. And then plus you picked this Labradorite egg. Okay. So obviously the egg shape is a symbol of like incubation before like a major birth. So I feel like this is also the in, uh, incubation period um, where you guys are both kind of maturing enough where uh, you can uh, fully connect again, okay, in Labradorite, all right? Um, it's a, a very um, a psychic stone, okay? So I feel like if you have been having psychic dreams about this person, or if you've been sensing like them telepathically sending you messages, or if you want to telepathically send this person messages, that this is like a thumbs up from the universe, like go ahead and do so. Or if you have a dream about this person, then definitely take notice of what's going on in that dream because it might be giving you different signs and messages, all right? So that's what's coming for you, group number one in the next three months. I'm Oculus, the alien next door, and we will chit chat again soon. What is up, group number two? Those of you that chose our beautiful rhodochrosite egg, 
Here is your reading. We're gonna find out what's going on for you in the next three months. Do some tarots. I'm going to attempt to shuffle prettily, which I will fail at most likely. And then we're gonna look at some oracle cards. So, and these cards are like 100% plastic too for me. Being that I can't shuffle for shit, I don't care either, but being that I already can't shuffle for shit, I just find the plastic ones to be more difficult to shuffle, but it's all good, I don't care. So, I mean, here we go. First card up. Two of Pentacles. Two, what? Two of Swords, look at this. Thank you, universe. Okay, we already have two twos on the board. Okay, okay, okay. Some of you might be interested in ballet, two twos. Then we have the pink, it reminds me of like ballerina pink or something. I don't know. And then we have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so. <laughs> two twos, two of Pentacles. I'm not, well, you guys did gravitate towards the rotocrosite, so I feel like there might be some sort of like emotional anguish um, that you might be experiencing at the moment. You might perceive yourself to be experiencing some emotional ang um, anguish. Now, I, I don't know if this emotional anguish is coming just in general or it's like in regards to a specific person, but as we see here, like partnership is highlighted, okay? Um, I see like you wanting to build something with someone, but I also see you maybe being indecisive. I feel like you guys, if this is about a partnership, I feel like you guys might be um, choosing between two people or you're going to have to make a choice in the very near future to choose between two people um, who, for you to build your stability and security with. So let's just clarify these. Queen of Wands, we are getting interesting. The same cards as other deck, interesting. Okay, under the Two of Swords, we have the Devil. And then we have under the Ten of Pentacles, the Star. Okay, yeah, so I definitely feel like you guys have to make a choice here, okay? Um, it might be, I think there's a choice that, that, that um, it's something that you, one choice might offer you assured stability and the other choice might be, you might feel it's a little iffy. Like one is sort of like a, a shoe in, like you know you have, you know you have, but then it's like the other choice is like creeping up. And the other choice is sort of more of like your passion, more of what like sets your soul on fire, okay? And again, this could be about, um, you know, two different people, okay? Or this could be maybe two different job opportunities. This could be about maybe um, quitting your job to explore your passion, quitting your job to travel around the world, or just setting out on something that your heart desires to do versus something that like your mind is telling you like logically this makes sense because it's stable and secure in the material realm and i feel like um that that it might be part of as i said what's causing you this emotional anguish here okay um but what i'm seeing also is that this is really like this choice is like weighing on you you're like like I need to make a move, I need to do something soon. And it's like, it's not even that both, like either of the opportunities you feel is bad or good. It's just that like you're you're in this limbo phase and you're kind of like, like what well, I just want it. I just want to be in that steady place. I just want to be in my future predicament already. I don't want to have to go through this, right? Like you ever hear that saying, um, if you're going through hell, keep going, okay? Um, now you might not necessarily feel like you're going through hell right now, but I feel like this whole choice might be um, very difficult. I'm sensing like also Libra energy. We don't really have cards indicating that except for maybe the two of swords, but just because this choice, this balance, okay? Um, it might be a seventh house issue, okay? You might have Venus and Libra. You might have like Libra rising or Libra moon or Libra present in your chart like um, as a dominant sign, okay? 
Um, so I feel like making a choice is already a little bit difficult for you, but especially if it's, it's in like love or something, or if it's a choice between like following your heart or following your mind. Okay, so within three months, what is going to happen? Let, let's see about which choice is best. Eight of Pentacles. Now, I'm just... We have another queen, Queen of Swords. Oh, yeah. Libra energy. And we have the star, air sign energy, Aquarius energy. And... Page of Pentacles. Okay, so what I'm seeing here, three months from now, I think what this is telling me is that um, you're in, again, like the other group that shows the egg shape. Um, the egg to me symbolizes an incubation period, okay? It's like something is not ready to hatch, so it's in it's, in its egg, right? Um, so it's not ready, right? So this could also be like the choice, like you're, you don't feel like you're ready to make that choice right now. But what I'm seeing is that what's going on here is that, again, it's like we have this heavy air earth energy. We have two queens, okay? We have two twos, okay? Um... So if it is choosing between two people and, you know, we have two queens here, right? So it could be you choosing between uh, two feminine energies or it could be you choo uh, choosing between two masculine energies. It's just like queen that's a representative of a person. So, I mean, don't think that, you know, if you see two queens, like it means you have to choose between two women. It can also be two men, okay? Um, but for some of you, it might be two women. For some of you, it might be two men. But because we have these twos in the partnership here, I think I'm sensing more that it's not... I mean, it could be a business con, uh, conflict. It might be or, or financial or something following your heart, following your mind. But we have like all these kind of like representations of people. So I'm really sensing it might be between two people. And three months from now... Okay, I see like this this period of next three months is going to be a lot of like work for you, not in a negative way. It's going to be work that you're sort of like you're mentally into, so you're going to be able to get through it. Okay, but I see that like you've been looking back at your past and think i've worked so hard for this okay where is my opportunity where like why hasn't it happened yet okay that's what i'm seeing here like with this choice like it's sort of like three months from now you're going to be looking back on it but you're going to see why you had to wait so long for this um this stability and security that you that you so want and desire right now why it, it, it took so long, okay? Because you had to go through the process, okay? I feel like there's also some physical effort that you might have to exude, okay, in both of these situations, okay? So, um, like, to figure out, like, kind of get your toes wet in both of them in the physical domain. So, let's say if your choice is between uh, two people, okay, um, you know, have a conversation with one of them. See if they're on your same page. Have a conversation with the other one. See if they're on your same page. If it's between like, um, you know, choosing a career path, right? I feel like go to your regular job, whatever, okay? Um, do have a day there. Evaluate it after. And then be like, okay, what did I do? How to make me feel, blah, blah, blah. And then whenever you have time, um, as much time as you spent at your physical job, okay, as soon as you can, as soon as you have that time, put in a day's work, a day's worth of work for the same amount of time that you did at your quote unquote regular job, put it into what whatever it is that your passion is, your entrepreneurship, your um, whatever, okay, you might be an artist, you might be a, um, I don't know, I'm just going to say artist because K 
can't think of anything right now, okay? But let's go with the fact that you're an artist, okay? But you also have a desk job, right? So let's say you're eight hours a day at your desk job. Just go go into it with a queer mentality. Look at it, be like, oh, okay, how was my day today? Did I have fun? What did I do? Like, just kind of like evaluate everything when you get home that day. And then the next time that you have free time, you have eight hours, put eight hours into your passion. Into like, let's say if you're an artist, into painting or uh, drawing or sewing or crafting or whatever the case, okay? Put eight hours into there and then evaluate after that. And notate again, like how, how did this make me feel? What was I doing? Is this like, did, did it make me happy? Right. And then compare the two lists and then obviously that'll help you be able to make your decision. Okay. And because you were able to exude like a little bit of physical effort in both and compare them and write it down and have something like a logical sort of, okay. In front of you in paper and writing that you can see and look at, I feel like that's going to help you to make that decision. So your decision will be made because three months from now, um, this opportunity, it, it's not going to be two, it's going to be one. So you'll have made your choice on whatever that is. Okay. So let me get some clarity for, well, not really clarity, I guess just like more cards. I don't read these upside down. The whole deck is upside down. Completion. Boom. What did I say? Thank you universe. Completion page of pentacles. Okay. So there's going to be something, um, in your physical realm that you're just starting out on it's going to be a brand new whether it's a relationship okay whether if if you had to choose between two people like i feel like one of those situations is to be done if you had to choose between like following a, a nine to five job or following your passion one of those situations is to be done it's going to be completed whatever this choice is that you have to make okay even if it's just a choice to step out of your comfort zone complete boom new experiences happening three months from now okay within three months it will be uh dissolved it will be complete okay let's get a zodiac card sixth house routine okay boom here we go routine so like i said i feel like this is like so profound especially that i gave that example with the whole work thing like going to your regular job seeing how it is and having the same routine kind of but then uh you know doing it with your passion and compare the two so i feel like that's kind of self-explanatory with that but just clarified what i said and then let's get one of these so i guess we're getting two of these heart center what did i say emotional anguish you're seeking healing because you're torn up about this choice opening up to love embracing compassion receiving graciously okay so again another self-explanatory one uh starry night restoring hope starry night and we got the star bada bing uh witnessing miracles ethereal intervention okay so yeah remain hopeful about this situation okay some of you who have been kind of praying or hoping or wishing for a miracle it's on its way to you um the star coming out okay like this means wishes fulfilled and that's coming out three months from now your wish will be granted okay so let's just get one more from these cute little door cards here we go a note on love Ooh, okay uh seek different seasons and enter into the unknown when love is the focus foundation and goal blessed is the body mind and soul okay when love is a focus foundation and goal okay so yeah again if you guys are seeking love okay we already got confirmation for those of you in like a work situation or whatever those of you seeking love i mean seek different seasons and enter into the unknown okay so if you have a choice between staying in a relationship uh, that you feel is kind of run its course, but you don't really want to move forward with a new person because it's unfamiliar territory. Step out of your comfort zone. I think I said that before, even if it's just stepping out of your comfort zone. So yeah, like your heart is going to be healed from whatever that anguish is. This is sort of like your little in incubation period, but three months from now, your wish will be fulfilled. You will have a successful completion and the choice that you had to make will already be made. Okay, so that's what I got for you guys, group number two. I'm Oculus, the alien next door, and we will chit chat again soon.
What is up group number three? Those of you, those of you that chose this lovely snowflake obsidian sphere. Here is your reading. What's gonna happen three months from now. So let's just bear with me as I try to shuffle these. And we're gonna find out what's going on for you in three months. Oh, oh this fellow wanted to come out, so. Uh, seven of Wands in reverse. You saw that, right? This guy fell up in reverse. Okay, so I lifted the deck and then this one remained there. So, death. Interesting. We got that card for another reading. Interesting, interesting. All right. Well, there we go. Have our top three here. Three of Pentacles. Seven of Wands reverse, Death and Three of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like you're finally, I feel like for a long time, you might have been carrying with you some sort of like um, uh, psychic energy that was derogatory to your experience, okay? And I'm looking at the Snowflake Obsidian when I say this. The Snowflake Obsidian is a perfect balance of like darkness and light, right? Because it's like equally... It's equally black and it's equally white, okay? Um, and that means that it's uh, a representation of polarity, okay? We have all, all types of polarities, right? And so we have darkness, light, we have good, evil, we have bad, good, okay? I don't know, you, you think of one, right? Okay, so the Snowflake Obsidian is a representation of polarity at its finest because it is essentially, it's black and it's white, but it's like equally, like you can't tell, like just like you can't tell, uh, is a zebra white with black stripes or is a zebra black with white stripes, right? Like, like no one really knows. It's sort of like the paradox. It's like everything has a polarity, okay? So I feel like with you guys in the reverse Seven of Wands, um, there was a psychic energy that was causing your polarities to sort of be misaligned, right? Um, okay, because polarities are really the same thing, just a different degree, right? Because between black and white, what do we have in, in betwixt various shades of gray? So you were in that gray area, that's what I'm sensing, um, recently, like maybe for a long time, maybe for most of your life, but now we have in the next three months... You're not being defensive. You're sort of coming into this like psychic energy where you, you've like kind of transformed yourself and you're like ready to let people in. You're ready to start anew. You're ready to start fresh, okay? Um, because I feel like you've kind of like, you've cocooned your way from the caterpillar to the butterfly, okay? You've kind of found yourself. I'm sensing that this group also is sort of like a spiritual awakening pile, all right? Just because we have the sphere, the other two were eggs, right? So the sphere to me is like a representation of like completion. Like you've completed like some sort of spiritual awakening. Somewhere in your cycle, something has been completed and it changed you, okay? So let's find out a little more. Of course we're going to get judgment. <laughs> of course we are. Thank you, universe. Okay, then we have the Ten of Swords. Of course we do. And then we have the Eight of Wands. Okay, so definitely, what did I just say? Spiritual awakening. And then literally, if we look at the imagery on this card, like... If that doesn't say spiritual awakening, I honestly don't know what does, okay? So you found yourself, you found your soul, or you found another aspect of you that you didn't even know was missing. So here we go. Like, you're just laying down. You got your, your, you got your swords lined up, okay? Notice with this depiction, okay? This is, oh, shit. So look at our look at our imagery, right? You've stepped into the light, okay, in your recent past. You harm harm harmoniousized. I don't know if that's a word, but it is now. Um, you harmonicized, mm-hmm. You harmonicize like a polarity within yourself, okay? So you're you're realizing that like um duality is natural, okay? There's always going to be um, like extremes of polarity, but that doesn't mean you have to be at one extreme. You could be in the middle. You could walk the tightrope with the middle, right? Okay. No, I acrobat just came into my mind, but if you notice the imagery of this, right? It's like this fellow here has stepped into the light. They're in the light 
And then look at this, their swords, their mind is at ease and the light is shining down on them. So this is definitely what I sense for you. And with this imagery also too, usually the 10 of swords, at least in the Rider Waite themed decks, it shows like a fellow like laid down with swords, like 10 swords just stabbed him in the back or whatever, okay, or stabbed him in the front and he's just laying there and he's like a carcass. But this one, this deck, this is why I like using symbology. The deck, look, she's just resting. She's just chilling. She's okay. Her swords are lined up. Like she took the time to prepare her swords and she knows that the light is shining on her. So you've already transformed yourself. Like you've gone through a massive spiritual awakening. Like, mm, boy. Okay. Um, so, and I see here with the three of pentacles and the eight of wands, you start, you're ready for like fast paced movement. Like everything from here on out, because you've awakened fully that aspect of yourself that was dormant in the sleep, that spiritual act, uh, that spiritual aspect of yourself, okay? Because that was lying dormant and it's awakened, now things are going to start to quicken. It's going to quicken the pace. Things are going to speed up, okay? Um, so let's see what's coming with this quickening of the, of the pace here. What do we have? This is the moon. Ooh, intuition on fleet. And then we have two of swords. I love this. Like so many of the same cards are coming out for different readings. And then we have the knight of cups. Okay. So what's coming now that you've had your spiritual awaken? Well, uh, well, I definitely see here with the moon that there's still maybe a little bit of shadow work that you might have to do, okay? But I don't feel like it's massive shadow work. I feel like it's more just like deciding to finally cut ties with things from your past that were weighing you down because um, there's like renewed, um, there's restoration coming in your relations with all type of people, okay? I see like family member relationships are gonna be healed. I see uh, new friends coming into your experience, like people who are kind of more on the same wavelength as you, like your soul tribe, that, that stereotypical saying, okay? But this fast forward movement also for some of you might be a relationship moving very fast. Um, I also feel that um, with this shadow work that you and your partner might also be working on shadow work together, okay? Um, if this is about a partnership, okay, um, it's going to take off within the next three months. If, if you've been wondering about like, if there, if you are going to mend a relationship with like a family member or a friend that is going to happen within the next three months, even if it's a relationship where you kind of just, uh, you've healed yourself, but now it's kind of like you, you want to get over someone too. You want to get over them. So like whatever they did in the past that affected you emotionally won't bother you anymore you're going to decide to kind of like look at their shadow side from a different perspective now because now that you've had your your massive awakening you can see things that others cannot uh because you're looking at it from a higher perspective from like a fifth dimensional perspective so you can see down into the 3d very easily so things that were hidden from you in this situation that hurt you with a specific someone right now you're able to choose to go in and look at their shadow side because you've dealt with your shadow side or you are in the process of dealing with your shadow side. So now you can see theirs accurately because it is to study thyself first before you can have a, a ghost of a chance of studying an other accurately, right? So, um, and that's going to bring you a lot of love and success and like quick, quick, like forward movement in your relations with people. Even if it's someone, like I said, if you just want to get over them, you're going to be able to see into their shadow side, like what happens. Then you're going to finally be able to release whatever that karmic bond is betwixt you and this other person. Okay, so that's really good news coming for you. Um, let's see what your oracles are saying here. Rebirth. Holy shit. What? Death and rebirth. If that is not profound, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. I don't know why I'm, put, okay, well, I don't read these upside down, but yep, 13 effort. I'm just going to pull another one of these because I feel guided to. So you've already put in that effort for this rebirth. You've already, ooh, massive awakening. 
follow your dreams 85 okay so yeah now it's time for you to like finally follow your dreams stop living in the past stop living in the fear frequency okay just move forward like you have this wonderful beautiful merkaba here okay your polarities are harmonized i mean everything is going good for you everything in three months okay um and like i said if you're trying to get over someone you're trying to release a karmic situation that's that's gonna be bye bye in three months if you're trying to heal a relationship then know that that relationship will be healed within three months okay so moon soul look at this and we have a number two and we have the moon over here again so moon double moon you and this person might have the same moon sign if it is about another person okay but either which way soul because you're here in touch with your soul now you can be um in touch with other people on a soul level because you cannot be having a soul experience with someone else if you don't even know your own soul okay so i feel like there's gonna be a deepening awakening in all your relations with other people and let's get one of these guys harmony what was that trying to say that word that i was trying to say before i was like harmonious harmonious harmonizing harmonizing look at this harmony boom thank you universe calm contentment in tune with each other synchronistic occurrences boom 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 harmony here it is here it is for you now let's take all right well i was going to try to pick up the deck but this one wants to come out on the bottom because i didn't pick him up but oh this is a this is a beautiful door mm, look at that color blue mm. the art of life there is no sacred light in the aura of an invisible life be bold in your skin let your love dance in sight okay i'm gonna read that again because i was like what am i reading the art of life there's no sacred light in the aura of an invisible life be bold in your skin let your love dance in sight okay so now you're really free to be you okay you're really free to pursue whatever um endeavors you wish because things are moving at like an accelerated pace now or at least they're going to be within three months okay and this is sort of like dance the art of life look at your life as like a painting or a movie or something artistic something creative something fun not something to um rob you of joy something to bring you joy okay because you are the artist of your own life okay be bold in your skin let your love dance in sight so again if this is about a relationship you know maybe you have to be bold with a specific person or maybe this specific person is going to be bold with you but either way like if you're looking for a relationship that's going to be harmonized within three months okay you might have sort of like a showboaty relationship where it's like wow like you're doing everything together and you're taking pics and they're showing you off and you're showing them off and you're just either way you're just really happy if you if you've healed yourself if you've released a specific person then you're free to like show off and like like step into your like crowning glory okay and you're stepping into it and you're having fun and everything is moving fast and you're like you know this is all a dream it's all a movie and i'm creator of it so i'm having fun and you're released of all your former baggage okay so excellent news coming up for you guys pile number three i am oculus the alien next door and we will chit chat again soon